Welcome to our review on X-rays, gamma rays and their uses. So first thing are the X-rays then. Chances are you've had an X-ray in the past and the reason that you're probably having that X-ray is to check to see if you had a broken bone. Because that's the primary use of our X-rays there is to produce an image of bones so that we can check for breaks. Now the way that they actually work then is most of those X-rays will pass through the patient but any denser material such as bone will absorb the radiation and therefore show up on the film. When we're thinking about X-rays and gamma rays, they are actually quite similar to one another in a variety of ways. They're both ionizing, they're both types of electromagnetic wave, they both travel very fast, they can both travel through a vacuum, and they both have high frequencies and small wavelengths. However, they do have some key differences that we need to remember. First thing is that they're made in very different ways. So our X-rays are produced by fast moving electrons, whereas our gamma rays come from the radioactive decay of unstable nuclei. One of the favorite questions they ask on the foundation tier paper particularly is the name of the person who takes X-rays in hospitals. And the name of that person is a radiographer. So do remember that. Now they do have to follow a few safety precautions to ensure that they reduce their exposure to the x-rays that they're carrying out. So you may well have noticed that if you've had an x-ray, then the person who's doing them will actually leave the room as they go to take the x-ray. Alternatively, they could stand behind a lead screen. And sometimes if they're unable to leave the room due to the nature of the injuries, then they will wear a lead apron instead to protect them. If we think about how to generate these x-rays then, what we actually need to do is fire high speed electrons at a metal target. Now, in order to actually make the electrons accelerate fast enough to produce X-rays, we need a very high voltage. So, key thing about our X-rays is that high speed electrons are fired at a metal target, and then as a result of that, the X-ray is generated. One of those other differences between our X-rays and our gamma rays is how easy it is to control them. Now our X-rays are far easier to control than gamma rays and that's because the X-ray is only generated when we've supplied a voltage. So if ever we don't want to produce an X-ray, we just don't supply the voltage. However, the gamma rays, because they're produced by the radioactive decay of unstable nuclei, we can't control that. That will just happen. Now the other thing that we can do with our X-rays in terms of control is that we can vary the wavelength slightly by changing the voltage. So if we want more penetrating X-rays, then what we can do is use a higher voltage to produce them.